Murphy team is up early, bringing you more news stories. A SNAP sign-up problem is preventing some people from getting their benefits. In this E-Team exclusive, Kevin Barry investigates what happened and what's being done to fix it. That training is supposed to happen throughout the month of February, but it's coming too late for one man who should have qualified for SNAP assistance, but still hasn't been able to get it. Well, I was displaced from my home back uh, around Thanksgiving. The holiday season for Greg Torsch was not one to remember. Around Christmas, he tried to apply for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, and Medicaid through the Ohio Benefits System. For some reason, we had updated the address to where I was living, and everything was defaulting to the old address, so I was missing these phone interviews to get the paperwork rolling. And he's not alone. In August 2018, the state transferred about a million assistance cases, including SNAP, to Ohio Benefits, which was the system they already used to track Medicaid. The Greater Cleveland Food Bank helps thousands of people apply for SNAP every year. We can help the client submit the application, but a lot of clients due to problems with this new system, are not actually getting their eligibility interview, and so they're being denied the benefit, even though they should be receiving it. CEO Kristen Warzoka says she's heard many stories like Greg's and others too, like callers being asked to stay on the line for more than an hour just to finish one final interview to lock in their benefits. And if they aren't able to stay on that long, they could miss out. It doesn't appear that this system was developed with the client in mind. But the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services says the system is not to blame. Instead, the problem with the notices going to the wrong address have been tracked back to to errors made when county employees input that information. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry for the E-Team. So to avoid these problems in the future, a state spokesperson says there will be additional training this month for county employees. As for the phone system, the state says employees will try to be as accommodating as possible.